Brother Jack, you're watching Lights Out TV. Lights Out, Fasso Card, Peacock's Gym, joined by Ken, aka James Branch. Okay, James. I'm fast. All right. Yeah, not too bad. How you doing? Not bad. Good How's Christmas. the brigade? They're all right. They're all right. Mm. Uh, We've had a few situations that uh, come amongst us lately, actually, but we've, mm. we've tackled them. All the birds and that, all the birds think they can pipe up trying to break the pack up, you know what I mean? But, um, How's Christmas? Yeah, not bad, not bad. 3-0, uh, talk now. to me about the last one. 3-0 oh, now, up in Brentwood. this fella, I'm not sure he had a brain. I'm not sure he had a brain, I hit him with everything. I just couldn't... I think the ref should have stopped it, really. I hit him with so many punches, that accumulation of punches, and there were no punches coming back at me, you know what I mean? But the ref should have, ref should have stopped it, but he didn't stop it. Ain't the end of the world. He went the distance with Dylan White, he went the distance with Derek Chisora and that. that's what he's in there to do, to survive, you know what I mean? So, mm. no, I've done alright, I've done well, boxed well. It's a good performance. Mm. On to the next one, just keep winning. I'm going to throw you like, straight to the deep end here, because I want to talk about the cruiserweight division, especially uh, domestically, you know, Akoli, Chamberlain, Watkins, Rakapur, Dion Juma, you know, yourself, it's a fantastic division. Yep. Is 2019 the year where you're going to be thinking about Southern area, perhaps maybe the English? I think so. I think so. I don't like to say too much because I'm still a lot younger than all of them, but obviously anyone that knows the boxing and knows if you look into the background, a lot of these people that are up there, um, a lot of these people up there that are fighting for titles, that are champions already, I've already beaten during the amateur days, you know what I mean? I ain't going to name no names, that's not my style, but obviously people that know me and know, and know boxing know that I've beaten a lot of these people already, you know? So, it's gonna, so, it's, so realistically, yeah, I, I am going to end up jumping in for titles now because I'm on that. I, I am on that level, you know. So yeah, I, I say about my age and about taking it slow, but there's only so so much slower you can take it when when you're when you're a cut above, you know. Uh, what is the uh, plans for 2019? Have you had? A, have you spoken to Frank? What are we? I've got, what, I'm what not going to meet with like Frank after this ne next fight when I box next. I believe I'm fighting in March at some point. I'm not too sure yet. Um, I've got a meeting with Frank after, so we'll probably talk about it through that and that, but I know that I think my rounds are getting stepped up now, so I'm starting to push up the rounds and that, so automatically then you're looking, you, when you step up the rounds, start beating more opponents and that, you're gonna go, I'm going to end up going up the rankings, and then next you know, I'm fighting for titles. Mm. Um, 2019, you know, like I said, it's a big year for British boxing, it's a big year for massive, yourself. Massive. As, is there any uh, potential opponents out there you want to fight? I know you had a fight with Akoli back in the day. The, yeah, you had two fights, look, wasn't it? Yeah, two fights. Uh, that ain't my style. That's never going to be my style to call people out because I am my own man and I am the man. When it's done, I know when I start coming through, I'm going to be. I will take. I will take over the division. You know, um, there, there ain't, ain't no one with a, a boxing brain and a, and a boxing head that I, what I've got. You know what I mean? So, you know, when um, obviously at the start of the interview, you mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, Diddy White and Derek Chisora. Yep. Um, they fought an opponent that you. Yeah, yeah. What did you make of this second fight? Yeah, good fight, wasn't it? Good fight, they backed each other, didn't they? They backed each other, Dylan White done well. But Dylan White's doing good, isn't he? Dylan White's getting better and better and better every fight. You know what I mean? Derek Chisora, Chisora, impre Chisora impressed me as well. I'll tell you what, I, I was a good move really that he done with under David Ayer because he looked mm. in good shape, didn't he? I thought that was the best he's probably ever that's looked the best I've, That's the best I've ever seen him like physically, but it ain't about physically what you look like, but just everything in general, tactic, mm. being out. I thought he'd done fucking, I thought he'd done brilliant that, um, I thought done brilliant shoes. Or I hope he, I hope he don't. Um, I don't think he will anyway, because he's all he knows in it boxing. But I hope he don't go and retire on that, because I think he can go again. There's rumours that uh, Dylan White's next opponent is going to be Vladimir Klitschko, and he's looking to come out of retirement. What do you make of that? Yeah, I just think. To be honest with you, if I was Dylan White, I'd be absolutely raging. I'd be absolutely raging right now. It's a mockery what's going on there now, and I think going to do it there now. Three fights. He should have had a world title fight by now. Did it? It, to be honest, Eddie Earn, I think, I, I, I believe he's, he's, he's taken a liberty out of Dylan White, really. And if I was Dylan White, I'd be absolutely raging. Mm -hmm. he, he, should, he deserves his world title shot. And they're going to put him in with Klitschko, and I think he's going to get beat by Klitschko. You think Klitschko will beat him? I think Klitschko will beat him. So then, he's done all that. He's done all that, all that hard work, all them, them free fights, three good fights last year, pay per view fight and that, and he's going to go get beat by, and he, and he gets beat by Klitschko when he should have had a world title shot. Yeah, I'd, I'd be living. But James, do you not look at as it though, you know, obviously we all know that he's in the, he's in the rightful position to fight for a world title, but you have yep. to respect him at the same time, keeping himself busy and making money. Of course, rather yeah, than keep respect for him, but yeah, keep. Uh, rather yeah. than waiting around for the world title fight yeah. to happen. Understood. 
understood, but I think Klitschko is one step too far. Don't need to fight Klitschko. Why do you need to fight Klitschko? Where's Klitschko in the rankings? Where's that? You need, if, you, if you're going to have another fight, I'd say fight someone like Povetkin or something, someone that's active, that's in the rankings. Klitschko comes back, beats him, that's it. He's knocked off the top of you. Mm. Klitschko's back, and then you know what they're going to do then, didn't you? They're going to just go, right, Klitschko, Joshua, a rematch again, and then they're going to build that up. Boxing's a, boxing is a... Uh, boxing is a... Uh, that's all me. Ask me, ask me over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, boxing, honestly, there's another world of boxing that people don't even realise, you know, and and pe- a, lot, a lot of people don't understand that, and it's another, it's like a, it's a, it's a business, you know, and people mm. don't, and people don't understand this. So I don't think, I don't think he um, might get a nice nice few quid out of it, but he's boxing. He wants to be a world champion. Now he's got a nice few mil anyway. You know? As you know, as a British fighter, the, for me the biggest fight in that heavyweight division is by far the Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Yep. That's a fight that looks like it's not going to happen for any, you know, any time soon. Do you reckon there's a we'll see that fight at some point, or do you think it's never going to happen? Anthony Joshua won't go nowhere near. Anthony Joshua won't go nowhere near Tyson Fury. Why would he go near with Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight out there by far. By far, you see like, what happened with Deontay Wilder with Tyson Fury. With Tyson Fury, mm. you see, um, you see Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is made for Tyson Fury. His style, his old way of boxing. I know Anthony and that is a lovely fella and that. You know what I mean, but his style, his way of boxing is completely made for Tyson Fury. Mm. Completely made for Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury will make easy work. So I got nowhere near. All right, well, James, listen, thank you very much for your time. No problem, I could tell guys. by the, the shorts, you know, you're absolutely freezing, so I'm not going to keep you out here it's too cold, long. It's cold weather. I've got to get my legs out. Cool. Cut you're dressed up, up like you're, you know, ready for Spanish weather or something. Oh, I was thinking about, I was thinking about <laughs> jumping on a flight, I was. <laughs> no, you can't. You've got to fight in March. That's it. All right, listen, That's James, it. thank you very much All for your best. time. Thank you. Cheers. Look forward to seeing you in the ring Cheers. in March. 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 And uh, thank you for talking to Lights Out. That's it.